Hey everyone, so this would be a flashlight comparison here on three of the more major smartwatches that are out there. So we have the brand new Samsung Watch Ultra, we have the Apple Watch Ultra 2, and then we have a Garmin Apex Gen 2 Pro 51mm. Uh, so first I'm going to show off how each of these work. So I have it on both of these two hooked up to their quick buttons. So for me I just press that on the Samsung and it'll change to the touchscreen and then you can make it brighter or you can make it dimmer or you can make it flash by tapping it, it uh, it'll flash or actually it's like that it'll just flash we go to the Apple watch again I have it on the quick set button for myself it be dimmer or brighter you can make it flash or you can make it red dimmer or brighter then the Garmin actually has built-in flashlight which is very very useful at night so we have a red, and then you have four levels of white. And this one is, of course, going to be the brightest. So let's go ahead and test each of these against each other. All right, so without any of these on, you can see there's a very little amount of light coming into my room here. We're going to start off here with the Garmin Epix Gen 2. So this is going to be the red, and you see it does light up quite Quite nicely, definitely useful if you have to get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom or whatever. Uh, you can actually see where you are going. Turn up to the first white. It is just about the same brightness as the red, um, maybe a little bit dimmer, but a different, of course, a different color to it. Turn it up one more, and you guys can see just how much dark or how much brighter that gets. So there is one, then two. This is way brighter. You can actually see my plant pretty well there. Go up to three, and now you can definitely see very, very well. And then four, of course, be the brightness is uh, four is me the brightest, and that is definitely nice and bright. And you'll be able to see pretty much anything. Uh, of course, this is meant for actually like trail running or running outside at night. Um, there's also different modes you can do with these, like strobe and different things like that. Um, but for as far as brightness goes, so again, you have the max. Three, two, one, and then red. So again, I would say the red is a little bit brighter than the lowest white, and it goes up from there. Next, we'll move on to the Apple Watch here. And I forgot to mention earlier, you can use the uh, dial on the side of it to make it brighter or less bright. Uh, so we'll start off here with the white. So you can see we can turn that way down, or we can make it brighter, 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 and then that is gonna be the max brightness. So again, it does get nice and bright. It's not gonna be as bright as the Garmin is on its max settings, but it is nice and bright. It is definitely bright enough to see in a dark room without any issue. And then we will change over to the red, and then change over to the red, so that is gonna be the dimmest. And I'll show you guys it is on red. Uh, but it is not the brightest. I'm going to turn that up all the way. Now it is nice and bright. And again, you can see a lot better in your dark room. Uh, again, this is definitely bright enough to be able to see. Uh, but it's not as nice as the Garmin. Then moving on to the Samsung here. So this is going to be in the Samsung. This is going to be the darkest setting, the dimmest setting here. Then we can turn this guy on up. As long as it wants to cooperate for me. Let's see. The problem with the Samsung and the Apple is if you're not doing it quite right, they don't want to work. The Garmin is not as fussy about it. That is going to be the brightest. And again, it is nice and bright. I think this is actually a bit brighter than the Apple is, uh, but not quite as good as the Garmin. And then you also have like a flashing one, which I'm not going to turn on. But you can also make it flash, so if you're out running at night or something like that, you can do that. But again, it is nice and bright. So I would say the Apple Watch is going to be the least brightest, then the Samsung, then the Garmin. Uh, but all of them are definitely usable at night. Uh, one more thing that is very more important to note here is with the two, with the Apple and the Samsung, they are of course using the screens, where with Garmin, you are using the uh, actual flashlight so when this is on your wrist 
it is kind of pointed ahead of you instead of off to the side or whatever. Uh, it's a lot easier to direct where you want that light to go than if one of these two are actually on your wrist. Uh, so say at night time you're trying to use the bathroom, it is kind of off to the side. It is just not as easy to see uh, as it is with the Garmin, unless you have it up all the way on brightness. Y'all let me know what you think though. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.